Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. What's up y'all, welcome back to the Scotty Show tonight Man, this is what y'all have been waiting for Y'all been, you know, talking to Discord about it The King of the Graveyard EP There's been a lot of mixed feelings about it Y'all been waiting for my opinion on it you know what I'm saying? In the comment section, y'all been asking, yo, when's the when's the reaction to the EP for the King of the Graveyard reaction dropping? It's, man, it's, it's right now. It's today. I just burped. But, yeah, man. This this is it right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we reacted to the first song of King of the Graveyard. You know what I'm saying? And I gave you my honest opinion. I didn't think it was all that, and I didn't think it was trash. But, like, did I have other expectations for the first song that I heard on the on the project? Yes, I did. I like the Warboy style of Cemetery. I like um, the Hundred Acre Wrist style of Cemetery, which that's like an old style to him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if he'll ever go back to that style. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that... I'm not saying it's not possible, but maybe he just likes the style that he does. He likes, like, that black metal, grungy, underground, sweaty, like, shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that shit, too. But I also fuck with, like, the Warboy style and the, um... And, like, the Hundred Acre Riz, uh, Rainbow Bridge 1. Like, that Rainbow Bridge 1 was crazy. Rainbow Bridge 1 was crazy. I can't even cap. Rainbow Bridge 1 was crazy. And, yes, I like, you know, um, Grave House and things like that. And, uh, and Screaming Forest and stuff. Like, I like those guitar samples and everything like that. That shit's crazy. But I will say, like, my most favorite stuff was, was Hundred Acre Riz and Warboy. Honestly, I feel like that was like the most fire music that that could have been made by him, and like I'm imagining, bro, like what if he like would have dropped like you know, let's just say Rainbow Bridge three was Rainbow Bridge one, Rainbow Bridge two was Rainbow Bridge two, and then and then like in and then in 2022 2023 we get Rainbow Bridge one as Rainbow Bridge three, and let's just say we get. Uh, Hundred Acre Risk in 2023 and things like that. How big do you think Cemetery would be? Or if we get Warboy in 2023. Not the remake. I'm talking about like if he dropped Warboy in 2023. How big do y'all think Cemetery would be? That's that's crazy. That's something crazy to think about. But we're gonna get into this, man. We're gonna get into this, man. Shout out to the Haunted Mouse, shout out to Hackle, shout out to Turnabout, shout out Buckshot, shout out is it Goonerville or Gonerville? I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, but shout out to you too, bro. Shout out to everybody in Haunted Mountain, bro, if I missed you. But um, this is the Scotty Show. We about to get into this, man. Make sure I get y'all drinks ready, bro. Let's get it. First song we're going to react to is King of the Graveyard. Let's get it. King of the Graveyard. <laughs> This beat went so crazy too. I thought he was about to do something crazy on it. Like I, like he did what Cemetery is supposed to do on this song, but the beat was so crazy. I thought that he was about to do something dangerous on it. Oh, no, it's, it's real, 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 real
really think that he does want to get like, and I've said this before in previous videos. Like I said, if he did make like try to make like that black metal hard like you know black black metal, you know hard rock type sh type kind of shit. Like, I wouldn't be mad at it, but like I miss like the other styles. You know what I'm saying that he would do. And I think that, like, his diversity of, like, how he would do things is what draw, draw me into into his music. But then I, I catch myself contradicting myself by saying, yo, if he did, like, lean more into the black metal kind of sound, I wouldn't be mad at him. So, like, I got, I, I, in a way, I got to kind of stick to what I said, but I also have to still be like, we need a little bit of that diversity. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. And, like, he's kind of been, like, putting out, like, this same particular style of writing patterns and making music. And um, I hope he does not take any offense to this while I'm saying this because this is just real critique. Because this is, like, fan critique, you know what I'm saying? And he could be like, fuck this nigga. Like, he don't even know what he's talking about. Which, like I said, like, this is just me giving my own analysis on it. I'm not, like, saying, like, oh, like, like whatever I say is law because that's not, like, what it is. I'm just giving my own critique on it and... I, I just think that um, personally, I would like to hear a little bit more, di like the, the the more diversity that, that I heard in like, you know, Warboy, A Hundred Acre Wrist, Rainbow Bridge 1, uh, and Rainbow Bridge 2 as well, uh, Screaming Forest, there was a little bit of that diversity as well there. Um, and then I feel like Rainbow Bridge 3 is when he uh, stuck to like the whole guitar sampling, black metal sounds, and... He just leaned into that more, you know what I'm saying? Like, the flows were a little bit different, but the patterns were the same, you know what I'm saying, of, of how the songs were, stru were structured. And, like, we're still kind of getting, like, that same kind of structure. Um, obviously, different flows here and there, different flow with King of the Graveyard. Uh, you can't compare it to a f maybe a few other Cemetery songs, but... Um, yeah, man, let's, let's just keep this going. Talking about with them samples, bro. <laughs> shit's crazy. All right, y'all. Uh, um, like I said, like King of the Graveyard is not bad, and like it's not like oh my god, this is super crazy, like fire, like you know, to me, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like a cemetery song, you know what I'm saying? It's like your well packaged, well delivered cemetery song, so it's a good song, but like it's nothing that's gonna like whoa, oh my god, man. like it ain't, it ain't gonna be nothing where. I remember when I first heard uh, 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 Weeping Choirs or whatever, bro. When I heard that shit, I was like, oh, my God. That shit crazy. I'm like, it ain't, like this ain't blowing my, my, my hair back. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, like how this other shit, you know, how this other shit used to do. You know what I'm saying? And I think that he just needs to tap into more of that, bro. He need to find that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it, it takes other people as well, or it takes time getting into, like, that mindset of, I'm going to do something different. You know what I'm saying? And when he was around Ghost Mountain, I made this comparison where I was like, yo, Ghost Mountain was Goku, and Cemetery was Vegeta. And you know how Goku, when Goku showed up, it always made Vegeta, like, be, like, his best, like, saying self. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like when Ghost Mountain hopped in the booth, you know what I'm saying? Like he did his shit. Cemetery was like, yo, I gotta go extra crazy. Cause this person's trying to take my head off. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what that that that, that competitiveness with music comes in. And I think that I think Cemetery needs a competitor, bro. And like that is like you know what 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 OG MCing and like OG just rapping is. You know, being competitive in the booth with your homies, it's a healthy competition. It ain't no like beef in competition. You know what I'm saying? Because if if one makes it, we all make it. But at the end of the day, we gotta push our pens and our style and our vocalization to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So that's like what I'm looking for 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 Cemetery, uh, in particular. Um, I, I'm looking for that heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of the main things that I'm looking for. I want someone in Haunted Mound, and I think it could be a buckshot. I think I, honestly, I could think it could be anybody in, uh, in Haunted Mound. I think I think it could be Hackle. I think I think it could be Turnabout. I want someone to push the boundaries to where Cemetery wants to push the boundaries himself. But Cemetery is also the creative director of Haunted Mound. He's also the uh, person that is, is putting the food on the table as well for everyone else to eat. So it's hard to also be that creative and diverse with your music when you also got to worry about getting people on tours, getting people paid, getting the paychecks, you know, written and cashed and stuff like that, getting the merch sent off and, and all those other things. So we have to take that on to account. So, like, if Cemetery is putting out things that he is comfortable with doing because he doesn't have the time to, you know, uh, try to diversify his music in the way that he does things because he's nervous about putting something different out because not only is this community that he has kind of toxic towards him, you know, they're, they're really judgmental on the music that he puts out and they they kind of don't give him the benefit of the doubt and the hard work that he has put in sometimes. And I have seen it before and it's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? And um, we, we, we just got to, um, you know, give artists time to to to, to develop themselves and, and all that good shit because at the end of the day if we treat the artists good and we give them more time then they are able to create that art that we need you know what i'm saying and i feel like he has a niche fan base that that loves this kind of this kind of music but um he also needs to diversify it for the people that have been long-term fans because he does have fans that are fans of the style that he's doing the black metal shit but the the long term fans are are more fans of the War Boy, the Hundred Acre Wrist style, um, and all the other shit that he put out with Ghost Mountain and things like that. But we, let's keep this going. Next time, next time we'll get into is Three AM Gang. Let's get it. Turnabout going crazy. You don't even sound like Cemetery on this, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Turnabout, you need to get in your bag, bro. Turnabout, if you're watching this, you need to get in your bag. Because I've been vouching for you in my videos, in the comments sometimes. They're not agreeing with you, and I'll be, I be fighting for you, bro. You just need to get in your bag and talk your shit, bro. You don't have to do the whole, like, and like I said, like, I, I know you fuck with Cemetery and shit like that, but... Y'all, you don't have to do cemetery style. I know you're. I know you're part of haunted mountain things like that, bro. But I feel like you're gonna be best doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Let me check something real quick, making sure that I'm still. We still good. Let's get it. Bro, I thought my fucking my video cut off for a second, but let's keep it going. I 
See, well, like when I'm listening to this, like I'm picturing like uh, when they did like Nevada, and I'm just like, why can't Cemetery just come with a flow like that on a song? <laughs> like, like I said, this song is not a bad song. This is a good song. But when I'm listening to this, bro, like I feel like I've already heard the song before. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I've already heard it already. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it's hard for me to like. Uh, get out of like that mindset when I've already heard, you know, Rainbow Bridge Three, Screaming Forest, Grave House and everything else. It's hard for me to like bro, it like like I would love for him to just get back into like that old shit because I feel like if he gets back into like that old shit, it's gonna elevate his gang. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna elevate the whole haunted mouth. It's gonna take him to a whole new level. Like I said, like this isn't a bad song. It's just that like I felt like I already heard this before. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's the same when I hear a, a Shed Theory song. I feel like I've heard this song already. You know what I'm saying? I said, I've already said they all have the same similar styles. You know what I'm saying? But they sound, but they obviously have different voices, but they, they all rap the same in Shed Theory. And like, um, even even with Joey, I, be, I was just like, yo, like, I still think attention to retail is his best stuff, and he's been releasing singles left and right. You know what I'm saying? And like with with uh, the same with Cemetery. Cemetery, I'll just be like, well, it's not War Boy. Well, it's not like this or that, because like their old music sets such a high standard that it's hard for them to like catch. And I have felt victim to this too as someone that makes music myself. A lot of people tell me like. Um, like I said, like people don't know that I have songs with Young Gravy. People don't know that I have songs with Braxton Knight or, or uh, Winter Time and, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And people, and, and I, I stopped making music for a while because now I just want to, you know, dedicate my time to uh, covering music. <laughs> and I, I just think that people do feel like your old stuff is better than your new stuff. <laughs> you know, and that shit happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? Even with like, even with an artist, like, it's happened to Drake, it's happened to so many other, like, like even Tyler, the creator, people are like, oh my God, like, Tron Cat is way better than all this shit that you've been making, you know what I'm saying? But let, let's keep this going. Why the fuck would you now? Come back and say something before I'm out. I see the eyes over yonder, let's go get it now. 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 If you see this, bro, I know you see my DMs, bro. I've DM'd you like 
three three or four times at least on 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 Instagram and Twitter after you commented on my uh, and I sent you an email too to your management um, after you commented on my video on YouTube, bro. We need to do that interview, dog. We need it, bro. Like I'll give you that thorough interview, bro. Well, the ones that the fans want. I'm not no fucking troll, bro. I'll do this for the culture, nigga. For real, for real. Tap in with me, bro. Tap in with me, bro. For real, for real. Tap in with me, dog. On, ga on gang, bro. Tap in with me. All right, we're going to get into the next song. Y'all already know how I feel about uh, the, the first two. Like I said, not bad songs or good songs. It's just that I feel like I've heard them already. You know what I'm saying? It's based on listening to, like, Grave House and... All the other, uh, all the other projects that he's put out, and and especially his features too. You know what I'm saying? The features even sound like these as well. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't sound like anything like that different, but it's good. They're good. You know what I'm saying? I can't say they're bad. I can't say they're bad. Like I'm not about to be like, yo, this is fucking garbage. Like it's not garbage. You know? Y'all saw me. You saw me head bopping. You see me drinking the the the, the motherfucking urine. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, that's like, you know, like, this is the truth serum. If I think something garbage, I'm about to be like, this is garbage. It's garbage. Like, it's not garbage. You know what I'm saying? This is good. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Next song, House of the Dead. This might be what I think it's going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. To put Hackle on this fucking project. What the fuck? It's a material. Come on, bro. Grave man. Out of the dead, out of the dead. On the horse. 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 On the This is a little different right here. This is what I'm talking about. Cemetery. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking Like this ain't this ain't War Boy and this ain't this ain't the old shit, but at least come at least at least come different like this, bro. The dead, I say I was 
was fire. I was fire. Cemetery, you did a good job with that one. I applaud you for that one. That was different. It didn't sound like anything else. You know what I'm saying? This should have more plays. This should have the most plays, honestly. Three. It should have more plays than 3 a.m. And it should have more plays than King of the Graveyard. Even though even though King of the Graveyard dropped first, House of the Dead should have way more plays than all these. Next song, Cutter in the Club. All the hearts. say one thing with like this because I know he just getting fucked up and he just freestyling this shit bro I would just say bro just start writing bro honestly just start writing because you a good writer you're a good rapper cemetery you a really good writer and you a good rapper bro and you just need to start flexing that muscle house of the dead went crazy but this right here like I'm iffy about it. Like I don't know if I fuck with it. I don't know if I'm, or if I'm rocking with it or not. But like, like I said, like as like a as like a real like haunted mountain cemetery fan. You know what I'm saying? And someone that like fuck with you, bro. I got to tell you the real. I'm not about to be like no fake ass like dick riding ass like like motherfucker, bro. Like I don't know if this is it right here. I don't. I really. I truly don't know if this is it right here. But are the are well are the instrumentals in production crazy? Yes, but are the bars there? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think the bars is there. I'm looking for more lyrical content than I am looking for production. But people do like the production. People, I feel like people are like. When they say a, a cemetery song is good, I feel like they're mainly talking about the production. His production skills and everything that they do is insanity. It's in crazy. It's insane. It's fire. No one can fuck with it. No one can touch it. No one could touch their production skills. But I'm judging this based off of lyrical content. You know what I'm saying? And the lyrical content, when I was judging Rainbow Bridge 1, you know, the, that's the one that he commented on. Rainbow Bridge 1. I was judging him based off of his lyrical content, the stuff that I was talking about. When you hear me break it down, Rainbow Bridge One, I'm talking about lyrical content. That's facts. Like I'm, I, I know that his production skills is crazy, but I'm talking about lyrical content. At the end of the day, do I think the lyrical content is there for this song? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Like this, this loose points. This takes off points. You at, at the end of the day, it just seems like you're getting fucked up and you just freestyling. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that if it works, but it just seems like it didn't work for this one. And like I'm not in my head to the production. You know what I'm saying? Not the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? The production is crazy. Like I say, like like Cemetery can put cause Cemetery can produce a can produce a whole project. And it just like scream over the track, and people gonna fuck with it because the production is so mesmerizing. It's at a certain frequency where people can like 
go tapped into it and shake their heads to it. it. Like, the frequency that he, you know, produces his beats and everything and how, like, and, and all the other Haunted Mountain producers produce their beats, it's at a certain frequency and vibe where people just fuck with it no matter what, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like a lot of people be like, oh, this project is fire. You know, Grave House is crazy. Uh, Rainbow Bridge 3 is, is crazy. And all these other, uh, you know, recent projects that he put out is crazy because the production is fire. You know what I'm saying? But does the bars match the production? That is the question. We are judging, I'm judging this based off of lyrical content and production quality. You know what I'm saying? So the production quality is there, but the lyrical content for this specific song is just, it's not it. Man, what the fuck? I caught it, caught the love, man. My watch love. Whoa, my watch so bloody. My color bloody. My gang so hungry. Bring on some dumb, man. I just start cutting. I'm so fucking dumb, I grab my cutter in the club. That was crazy. All right, last song. I don't care about sleep anymore. That's what I'm talking about right here. could have did this like more melodically like how he did uh uh nevada with ghost mountain which i bro i know he probably hates when ghost mountain gets brought up every single fucking time but he he outshined ghost mountain on nevada like like there's there's no explaining how hard he went on on uh on nevada because a lot of people be like oh my god ghost mountain carried uh uh ghost mountain carried cemetery which is complete cap, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out that Ghost that that cemetery was writing some of Ghost Mountain lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Ghost Mountain was honestly like, yeah, he fired, but at the end of the day, bro, he the one that gave up and quit. So he ain't carry shit. Cemetery was carrying Ghost Mountain. He was the one that was forcing him to show up to to do studio time and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cemet Go Ghost Mountain wasn't Ghost Mountain wasn't telling Cemetery to yo get get on this, do this, do that. Make sure you're making your videos. Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're writing lyrics and stuff like that. Ghost Mountain wasn't doing none of that shit. So who was really carrying who? You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Ghost Mountain was fire. I would say he's the better artist, but when it comes to carrying somebody. Cemetery was doing the carrying, you know what I'm saying? He was the one that was making sure shit was, was in line. He was the one that actually cared about the craft and that cared about the image and cared about everything else getting put out. So I'm not trying to hear no Ghost Mountain was carrying Cemetery, no, none of that. Like, and that's just my opinion. Y'all can have y'all opinion and y'all can share it in the comment section and stuff like that. And I respect that. But at the end of the day, Cemetery today is proving that he's the one that's been carrying this torch for Haunted Mount. He's the one that's been carrying. He's the one that's been that's been dressing up and doing this shit and making sure these tickets be getting sold, this merch is getting sold. They're getting on these tours and stuff like that, and people are getting them, they're getting the exposure that they need to get. You know what I'm saying? Ghost Mountain wasn't doing that shit. If if if, if Haunted Mount was up up to Ghost Mountain, there'd be no Haunted Mount no more because Ghost Mountain would have quit. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, what are we talking about? What are we really talking about right now? Yes, Ghost Mountain was a fire artist, but did he really carry Cemetery? No. 
So we got to stop that right now. We got to stop that conversation right now. Cemetery has been doing this shit, and he has been pushing his artists and pushing his people to, to be the best that they can be at the end of the day. So Cemetery was carrying Ghost Mountain. Ghost Mountain was just the quote-unquote better artist. And that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You could be, you, bro, there's, I've seen so many people that were super talented but didn't put the work in. I've seen so many people that were super talented at something, but they didn't really care to 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 do to, to like really go all the way in with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we we could do all this uh, what aboutisms and things like that, and and yeah, I'm a, I, I'm a Ghost Mountain fan myself. But at the end of the day, I realized that a Cemetery was carrying Ghost Mountain. He made sure that he did his studio time. He probably wrote lyrics for Ghost Mountain because he even talked about how. Ghost Mountain didn't have lyrics ready, so so Cemetery probably had to help write lyrics for for Ghost Mountain. And if you listen to Ghost Mountain's music before he was in Haunted Mound, what did it sound like? It sounded like Wicca Phase's stuff. But then when he got with with Cemetery, and then sometimes Cemetery and then sometimes Ghost Mountain didn't have lyrics ready. Did y'all not think that go that that cemetery probably wrote for Ghost Mountain sometimes here and there or or throw a couple bars here and there, you know, talking about killing people's families and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Having a cutter on them, human skin dashboard and shit like that. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's keep it going. Cemetery, you know what I'm saying? With this one, we got a hint of it. But, like, it's not there. It's not what we want. And I think it's because his voice is more raspier because he smokes cigarettes. And Cemetery, you need to stop smoking cigarettes, bro. You need to stop. I used to smoke cigarettes myself, but I, I quit, like, seven, eight years ago. Bro, you need to stop smoking cigarettes, bro. You need to stop smoking cigarettes, bro. You need a you need a vocal coach as well. You need a vocal coach because you have a good voice and don't waste that but shit, bro. Smoking cigarettes and shit. Fuck that shit. Smoke some weed. Smoke some CBD. But if you, if you have a, it's called oral fixation. That's the, that's the terminology for it. So you like smoking stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you, you got a, it's, it's literally an oral fixation and also it is a nicotine uh, addiction as well and all the other chemicals that's in a cigarette that makes you an addict and um, if you have an oral fixation issue I would just say you know get a, a plain Jane plain Jane has like a it looks like a cigarette cart but uh, it's and they have like the little cigarette things in there they look like they're literally CBD Delta 8 cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? And they deliver that shit to your crib. You smoke that. You just smoke a pack of those motherfuckers, bro. Oh, God. You don't need to smoke cigarettes, bro. You don't need to smoke cigarettes, bro. That shit is detrimental to your health and, you know, the long term of things, bro. I understand, you know, you king of the graveyard, king of the dead, and all that shit, bro. But 
in all actuality, I don't think that your fans don't want you to be dead. You know what I'm saying? And I think in all actuality, you don't want to be dead because you're making money and you're living a certain lifestyle now that you weren't living when, you know, you were broke. You know what I'm saying? And all your other homies, because if you die, what happens to Haunted Mound? What happens to Hackle? What happens to Buckshot? What happens to Turnabout? When the leader dies, what happens to everybody else? You know what I'm saying? So focus on your health. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying don't smoke weed and don't drink alcohol. I mean, do it in moderation. But, bro, like, we, we need them vocals crisp. You know what I'm saying? saying this is like mid his it's probably his worst project ever i don't think that it was that bad i don't think that it was bad i just think that it didn't meet a lot of people's expectations you know what i'm saying a lot of people probably thought that he was going to bring back like the war boy style the 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 the, the hundred acre wrist style you know what i'm saying i feel like people had those kind of expectations but if you listen to like the music and stuff the music isn't bad. The only song that I did not really fuck with was Cutter in the Club. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these songs, I just felt like I've already heard them already. And that does not mean that they're bad songs. It just feels like I heard them already. You know what I'm saying? Because of previous albums I've listened to. But um, I think that his potential, you know, is still, like, wide. And, and there's a lot of range to it. I think he just needs to tap into that potential. And he need like everyone in Haunted Mound, y'all all need to be trying to outdo each other lyrically. Y'all already have the production behind y'all. Y'all already have producers and stuff like that that can make the beats and shit that y'all need. Y'all got some material to make the beats. Y'all got the DJ tags and stuff like that. Y'all got all that kind of stuff. Y'all need to fuck with DJ Smokey too. Even though he fuck with some of y'all ops and shit like that. Y'all need to get a DJ Smokey uh, uh, mixtape hosting as well. Like, DJ Smokey, bro, y'all need to stop beefing with each other. That's, like, the main thing, bro. The beefing shit is stupid. Y'all need to stop beefing with each other, bro. Like, you know, where I'm from, bro, like, the Midwest, bro, like, like you know, the beefing shit, like, that shit, niggas end up dead. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, but y'all, like, y'all, y'all, bro, y'all need to start working together. And making yourself stronger in the underground, cause I'm gonna let y'all know this: there's a lot of nepotism. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, record labels getting involved with the underground, making false undergrounds and things like that, buffering numbers for certain artists and things like that. And that's what y'all gotta compete against. You know what I'm saying? And y'all have to maintain y'all real fan bases. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to maintain that shit, and y'all need to like start catering. Not only to y'all fans, but to y'all bank accounts. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all win. I want to see y'all sign million dollar deals and shit like that. And, you know, maybe my opinions don't mean shit, but at least, you know, just take the opinions of, like, the people that really care and that really fuck with y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um... I fuck with the underground scene. I'm a big fan of the underground scene. I'm not just a fan of Cemetery, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of the underground, which is more than Cemetery, but Cemetery is a part of the underground scene. Haunted Mount is a part of the underground scene. So do I want to see Haunted Mount win? Yes. And when I say y'all need to start competing with each other and pushing each other, I mean lyrically, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean vocally. Who's going to try to, like, sing? Who's going to try to, like, do you know, what everyone else isn't doing in the group and stuff like that. Who's going to push those boundaries and shit? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm really looking for in, in, in the group of, of Haunted Mound. And 
and cemetery and stuff like that because listening to all the old shit, I know that y'all can do that now. You know what I'm saying? So we've been hearing the new shit and we've been getting like similar sounds of the new shit already for about like two two to two to one to two years, you know what I'm saying already. So I think it's time for a switch up and um I think I don't care about sleep anymore was was that little sprinkle. It wasn't what we needed, but it, it let us know like mm, I can still do this. You know what I'm saying? So uh let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey. Hey.